Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a great day. For today's video, we're gonna be going out and servicing a few of my vending machines on location and also, of course, collecting the money to see how much they made. After I posted my last couple of videos, a lot of people thought that I sold my vending machine business because I haven't done a collection. So for everyone wondering, no, I did not sell my vending machines. I still have every single one of them. And honestly, most likely, I'm gonna have them until I die and I'll probably be buried with a vending machine like next to me. What? Uh, is that, I don't like talking about your death, dude. Yeah, can we, talk about can we just stop? Oh, and also we did get a new location. So at the end of the video, we are gonna be going and dropping off a soda machine at that new location. So make sure you guys watch the whole video. Again, hope you guys enjoy and let's go and let's service some vending machines. All right, what's good guys? So right now we're at the first location. I can see we got a snack and a drink machine. But before we get the two machines filled up, quick fun fact. When we first got this location, it was like older machines with no readers. And back then it was doing well, like 50 a week, yeah. which was, it's not bad, but 50 a week. I mean, it could be better, but now we got readers. We got a bigger, nicer drink machine. And now instead of 50 a week, it does $50 every single day. That is like the biggest accomplishment biggest we've difference. actually seen. Biggest difference. Why, why is the light bulb broken? It's not broken. Maybe I didn't put it on right. Oh. Yeah, ves? If I get electrocuted. Eh? Oh. Yeah, ves? I mean, it's not loose. It's not going to fall because it's in there. Mm -hmm. um, um, excuse me. It's not facing forward. You know, you know the drill? Look at this. What is that? That's unacceptable. Excuse, excuse me. That's excuse unacceptable me. Uh, for already, vending bites. We've already had this We have high standards here. We've already had this we conversation. We have high standards here. Look, no matter how straight you want it, look at it. When you go back, it twirls. Do you want me to take them all out and do it again? Yes. I'm not doing it. Yeah, we like it, but this shit's fantastic. For the ages, feels like it's magic. Hear the clock been haunting my dreams. It's been ticking for hours, ticking yeah. for hours. Yeah, I feel so old. Gotta waste no time, gotta wait in line, and the weather's so cold. Should've brought my coat at the end of the line, all my shit untold. Messed up a lot, used to be waiting for something or someone to give me my spot. God only show you the way, it's all up to the plan and the paper and people yeah. you brought. I learned what I thought, I hope that they notice and give us a shot. I swear I'm 18, been lying a lot, might give us away. And what is the cost? The truth of my face, I think that we caught. I hear what you say, but jealousy rides the brain, the fame, the game. I know you a fan of me, feeling me, you can't convince me, calling this why. Time is running now, it's been moving, but we still don't have a crowd. Money in my head. Fantastic. Tell them about the water. <laughs> <laughs> we got them that bougie water. And not just the water. So we got we got Fiji and then we have Ozarka. Right over there, they have a water dispenser for free water. I mean, some people do prefer bottles though. Right. The real question is, is water wet? Is water wet? Yeah. I mean, water can't be wet because water is already wet. It's like saying, can the sun be a sun? Don't they use more credit cards here? Yeah, they do use more cards here, so it's gonna be mainly... Oh, there might not be enough cash, uh, but let's open up the snack machine and let's check it out. Yeah, look at that. I mean, you guys saw the snack machine. It was empty, obviously. It made a lot more than this. <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is maybe like 20, 30 bucks. Ooh, five. This one's a bit heavier, but not by much. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I see the difference though. Ooh, look at that. Still a pretty nice stack. It's for two weeks. Uh, again, it's mainly in card sales, but not bad, not bad. Guys, I feel like I can finally talk. Were we whispering in there or not? I felt like we low-key were, but we were talking loud. It's because we can't really talk loud in there because, of course, just, you know, employees and customers. But as soon as we were starting to do the snack machine, an employee came, grabbed the chair, and sat right behind us and watched us the entire time. I promise you guys, I, that's exactly what he did, and it was kind of awkward. And I was like, do you have to buy something? Like, do you want a drink for free? And he's like, no, no, I'm good. And I was like, is he on his break? But no, it's like 6 p.m. right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're about to close. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for this location. 
All right, y'all, so the next location we're going to, we do have an ice cream machine in there, and I would say about like 80% of the people there are Hispanic. So right now, we're at a local paleteria. We're gonna go inside and buy a whole bunch of ice cream in bulk. That way, we can put those in the machines uh, since they do like Mexican ice cream. So let's go inside, and hopefully they got some, some good ones. Yo, if I wasn't making videos, I would honestly probably be selling snacks on the street. I would be a paletero. You know the drill, pass me the bag, I gotta try one. You can't sell something without trying it, like what if something's wrong with it, you know? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright you guys, so right now we are at the second location. I'm not gonna show too much here because they're about to close, but we do have three machines. We got a nice looking drink machine. We got the snack machine over here, which is actually refrigerated because it's so hot in here. At first, all the chocolate was melting, so we had to get a machine that was refrigerated. So everything is nice and cold inside. And for the third machine, we do have an ice cream machine. We actually put this machine in recently. This is actually one of our busiest and best locations. So we were like, you know, let's put an ice cream machine here, fill it up with ice cream, with frozen food. And it was a good idea because, as y'all can see, it's pretty <laughs> empty. So they do use it a lot and we actually bought this machine brand new which cost it a pretty penny but I'm sure we're gonna make our money back pretty quick. Ooh, look at that. See all the smoke? All right, so for the food, as y'all can see, these didn't really sell out so I guess they didn't like them. The fettuccine Alfredo and also the chicken pot pie. I wonder why. Did you fill it up to the back? I did. Yeah, so they only bought like two Look at that. Y'all already know we got the pepperoni and the four cheese. Hey, it fit exactly. We got every single one of them in there. Next up, we got the chicken. Oh, the spicy chicken sandwich. What can I say? I'm a menace to society. Guys, so the only thing I hate about this location is that it gets so dusty in here. So every single time we come in, we have to clean the machines. Oh my, that's how dusty it is. Damn. Like, don't worry guys, we do clean the machine every single time we come. But that's the thing, we have to do it every single time because this is how dirty they get. I mean, it's a warehouse, what do you expect? So yeah, I'm going to clean the machine first and then we're going to fill it up. All right, guys, so we're done with the snack machine. It looks much better. We got it filled up. They're actually closed right now. We're the only ones here, so we have to hurry up and collect all the money. So let's start with the snack machine. Again, we're not expecting too much because they mainly use cards here. 
but snack machine look at this yeah, should, yeah. there's a five right there not bad not bad how much would you guess 30 bucks in cash next up drink machine this one should be a little bit better nah, it should be it's thinner. pretty light we got a five <laughs> in the front though always a good sign yeah they're all gonna be about the same I'd say like another 30 bucks in cash. We actually never collect the coins. We never really get coins in our machines. And last but not least, the ice cream machine. Look how nice it looks. It looks so colorful, so pretty. Oh, so there is some bills in there. Let's see. Damn, you can't even see the stack. <laughs> Damn, I'm balling over here. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, so right now we're at Gilbert's shop. Some of you guys might remember him. We used to call him El Cut Gilbert. But like I said, he did open up his shop about a year ago. He basically tends people's cars. And ever since he opened it, he's been telling me that he wants me to put a vending machine in his shop. But I was always like, eh, like, I don't know if it's gonna do well. So today we're gonna finally bring in a machine and put it inside. I'm waiting on my mover guy to come and drop it off. But right now, let's go inside and let's say what's up to El Cut Gilbert. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go inside. Let's see if he's in there. Hey, Yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? Is uh, Cut Gilbert here? Bro, he's always late. He's never here on time. Never on time. Really? Yeah. Never. He's the boss, though. He's the boss. Never on time. Never doing anything. What the? You never. guys hear that? Like, what? somebody running a shop, but he's up, always late. Oh, he is here. What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? Doing good, and you? Anyways, like I said, we are here because we are gonna be dropping off a vending machine. So, where do you want it? Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking right here, dude. I'm just right tired. Here? So while we wait, I mean, they haven't seen your shop. You want to give them a tour real quick? I mean, yeah, let's go. Come on. So I mean, this is like the main office. This is. Uh, you want to introduce yourself? My name is Jonathan, one of his tent workers. All right. So one thing I like about my shop is that I'm trying to keep it like creative, you know. So I hired a painter to. Oh yeah, I did see that to recently. To paint that right there, right? And then we put in like decals and stuff like that. You know, and we did that big name up there. Also, what we have here is nothing much, you know. There's really nothing much to a tin shop, you know. So is this where you demonstrate how dark it is? No. No, no, this is, this, we use this to install. So, like, we grab the window tint from here, and then we put it into the car. Oh, so okay. there won't be bubbles in the window yeah. tint. If you guys want to see a day in the life of a window tinner and maybe see how much she actually makes, I don't know if you want to show that or not. I don't know, it's just an idea. But, yeah, I mean, it is a pretty cool shop, I'm not going to lie. All right, guys, so the machine is finally here. Uh, so we're gonna bring it down and then put it inside. He's getting close to your truck. <laughs> like butter. Damn, it barely went through the door. All right, Gilbert, so how does it feel to finally have a Vending Bites machine in your shop? After a whole year, it feels bad ass. I know, right? It's been a minute, but yeah. we finally got it in. I didn't finish the machine because we forgot some parts that I need to, like, finish setting it up. So we're going to come like back. Like always. Like always. But, yeah, I'm going to try to make it back before you close. But, yeah, with that being said, thanks, Gilbert, for letting me put the machine in your shop. Yeah, I'm a, of course. I'm, I will come back a week later just to see how the machine does. And we might do a collection here and see how much money the machine actually makes. But, yeah, appreciate it. Of course, bro. Thank you. And now I promise you it's gonna sell because Texas. I'm gonna come back two weeks and I'll be $2 in there. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. All right, everyone. So before we end the video, I'm gonna count the money real quick and we're gonna see exactly how much those two locations made in the last two weeks. So let me go ahead and pull out all the cash. Again, this is for both locations that we went to. Doesn't look like much, right? <laughs> no. I mean, I did already look up how much those two locations made in credit card sales, so I'm just gonna count this and then add them together. So yeah, I'll be right back once I'm done. All right, everyone, I'm finally done. Before I let you guys know how much it is all together, you wanna to give it a guess? I'm gonna give you a hint. It's weird because it's a three-digit number, but it's all the same number. Like, what are the odds of that? 
I'm gonna say 333. Like everything, no, credit card and cash. Like Does that sound like a little bit? You say how much? 333. 333 for two good locations in the last two weeks? Okay, never mind, never mind. Let's go with five. <sighs> it's $888. <laughs> That's how much the two locations made in the last two weeks. So it's about, what, like $450 per location for two weeks? I was definitely way off. You guess 300. <laughs> Come on now. It's because it was kind of confusing. All right, now I got to take that to the bank. But with that being said, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to keep seeing more collection videos, go down below. Drop a like and leave a comment letting me know. Again, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, finally, I feel like I can talk. Like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs>